for those of you who are carrying a Russia flag, and for those of you who are wondering why some Nigerians are printing and carrying Russia flag in the north, well, uh, Putin, the Russia president, has the message for you. According to him, he said he has no intention, no intention whatsoever to interfere or get involved when it comes to Nigeria politics. No intention whatsoever to interfere or get involved when it comes to Nigeria politics. And he has no intention to ever assist to overthrow any government. And again, not just only that, the embassy, Russia embassy in Nigeria said, according to the news, they said the Russia embassy in Nigeria has denied any involvement with group of protesters in the northern Nigeria who we are seeing carrying Russia flag. You know, some guys were writing me, they said that one not be Russia flag, that one a military flag. Well, what am I to say? If it's not a Russia flag or military flag, who am I to say? Who am I to say? After all, the federal government said it's a Russia flag. In fact, they hosted a meeting. The, the uh, our our president hosted a meeting with the generals, and the generals confirmed it that that was indeed Russia flag. And they said, anybody any Nigeria seeing carrying Russia flag is a is is a treason. Um. Today's meeting is uh, uh, such that we wanted to come and update Mr. President about the situation on ground. Uh, we know since the riots have started, um, the role all the security agencies are playing. You can see all of us together. We had uh, about two hours meeting with Mr. President. We explained to him in details the current situation on ground since the riots have started. And what we realized is that, yes, initially people said it was... Um, a peaceful rival, but we have warned against it because we realize that there are individuals that are willing to take advantage of it to cause mayhem, and we can see clearly what has happened since it has commenced. Criminals have taken over, a lot of looting, a lot of uh, stealing, and all sorts happening. And besides that, I'm also aware, we're also aware that I'm seeing, all of us have seen it, where some uh, f foreign flags have been flown within the sovereignty of Nigeria, and that is totally unacceptable. Uh, we are warning in, in clear terms, and the president has also said we should convey this, that we will not accept anybody, any individual flying any foreign flag in Nigeria. That is treasonable offense, and it will be viewed and treated as such. So nobody should allow himself to be used by any individual. Also the issue of coups. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Nigeria is a democratic nation. All security agencies are here to defend democracy and make sure that democracy continues to strive. We will not accept anyone pushing or taking any action, seemingly or for whatever reason, to want to push for any change of government. Democracy is what we stand for. Democracy is what we continue to defend. For those of them flying flags, if you see a lot of them are kids being pushed to do that. We are following up with those ones that are sponsoring them, those that are pushing them, because you know the flags were also made. We identified those areas and we're going to take serious action against that. The president is clear on his instructions on non, for us not to accept anyone that wants to disrupt the peace and tranquility of Nigeria. And we are all standing here together to show Nigerians that we're working closely, we're working together in synergy to ensure that there's peace and tranquility in Nigeria. That we have assured Mr. Well, uh, okay, you had the generals there. Who, uh, who meant to the president? I was say yesterday or day for yesterday. Well, about the, the Russia. So I am not the one that said it's a, it's a Russia flag. They said it's a Russia flag. They have done their investigation. So people messaging me say it's not a Russia flag. It's a military, Nigerian military flag. This and that. I don't really understand you now, honestly speaking. They said a Russia flag. So the coup and everything, you heard exactly what they said. Well, you know, the Russia, put to say, you know, get hand for Ramu. Russia said they no get hand for that one, make the fly. Well, let's uh, go back to uh, Dangote, then Peter Obi as well. Because, you know, me and Free West Deep had that issue about Peter Obi. If Peter Obi is, a, is the right person for Nigeria now, 
Someone said, the way Peter will be will beat Tunubu in 2022 election. It will, be, it will be the very end of APC. Tunubu will lose Lagos and Nigeria to Peter Obi, but they won't be able to rig it this time. He said in 2027 that Peter Obi will beat Tunubu hands down and they won't be able to rig the election this time. Well, anything can happen. Anything can happen. No? But let me be completely honest with you. I had a very strong argument with uh, this guy that day. And I said, as a Nigeria, we need a ruthless and a good leader at the same time. If we get only good leader, is bad. If we get only ruthless leader, is bad. A good leader in the sense that is good to the people and to the benefit of Nigeria. And ruthless in the sense that it doesn't take rubbish from anybody who wants to undermine the good name of Nigeria. That's what I mean by ruthless and good leader. So don't misquote me. Only ruthless leader will say, no care, he no send you now, he will deal with you regardless, no the fear. But good leader, the one make uh, Kenneth explain to me also, I said, when I want you, that one make Kenneth explain to us, so if not like so, he be for real life, I know the vote for that person. I rather carry Shuware, vote for Shuware. Why go vote for that kind of person? But if it's just for political gain and because he wants to use their hand, then I can consider. Well, let's listen to uh, this guy, Deji. I Nigeria need somebody that is coming, that even the idea of him coming alone, the idea is not even him coming. The idea of him coming alone, they are they already run away and they've gone. Because the bad eggs in the system, in the police, they need somebody that will teach them a lesson for the consequences of their behavior. The bad eggs in the army, in the civil service, in every service in the country that is destroying the country, they need to be taught, taught that there's consequences for bad behavior. And right now, there's no such person. If by mistake or by providence, someone like Omar Elisha Ware becomes president, before he's even sworn in, the entire country will be empty. All the politicians will run away. Yes. All the entire... Because let me tell you, Abdul Salam Abaka said it now during the... You know, there's this peace accord, something yes. they used to do. He said, hey, Shawari, if you enter, all of us, we are, we are finished. So you heard him very well. So the thing about Tunubu now, Kenneth, make Kenneth go exposed to her. Whether we like it or not, uh, we'll remove a lot of supporters from uh, from uh, Peter Obi and the thing about Peter Obi, sorry. The thing about Peter Obi is that Wait till, show, uh, wait till Kenneth talk, he will remove a lot of supporters from Peter Obi and Because many Nigerians say no like two good leaders. If you say you are praying for good, good, good leader, you have to define your good leader well for other people. You have to define your good leader well. If you are a leader that cannot compromise and can deal with cheaters, hey, hey, we, need, we need that kind of leader. Hmm? But you know in Nigeria, by the time you come outside, they show yourself so you go deal with people, you go deal with people, you go deal with people, you know, go ever get that situ. But if you can show people that you are patient, you can rob mind to people just to get there and later deal with them, uh -huh. you, you might be able to get a seat. So if that the kind of style Peter Obi is using, then I think it's extremely wise. If that's the kind of style he is using, you know, I think he's wise. If that is kind of style, is good. But if that's not it, ha, you go ask for a mo. Myself, I no go like him. I no go one day involved with that one at all. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, guys, honestly, because me, I no just want only good leader. I want the combination of all. Liquid is a shameless guy. You see, he uses Nigerian money to become African richest man every year. <laughs> so if you if you open the treasury of, of Nigeria and you give to Nedu, Nedu will also be declared the richest man in Africa. So what they do, what the Dangotes of this world do is he's an Ajib, all government in power. Any government that comes into power, before they come into power, he will identify who he thinks will win, donate money to them. Oh. Then when they, they come into power, he just goes and starts as kissing them. So unfortunately, that did not work with Tinubu, and that's why they're angry with him. So they are going after him because also 
You know, the Tinubu guys, they are monopolies themselves, just like Dangote. So they feel that there's nothing Dangote is doing that they cannot do. After all, they can do the oil, they can bring the sugar, they can do it. So Nigerians should not sympathize with Aliko. Let them fight and finish off themselves. You know, Nigerians always love to take side in battles that does not directly benefit them. Well, I kind of like understood Emo. That's the reason why that time when they talk about Dangote, I said, I know just care about their fight. What I want to hear is that this refinery is owned by Nigeria. This industry is owned by Nigeria and it benefits us. Prices reduce. If you want to see the producer, you know, see reduce. How, how does that really benefit me? That's the only thing I want to hear, honestly, guys. I don't care about the monopoly, the discussion, the bo -bo -bo -bo, the inner deals and not the inner deals. I just want it to benefit me and my people. Well, thank, thank, thank you guys for watching. It's a boy, Gadam Slim. Catch you next time. Peace.